now. Let go. Fantastic. I just press it to release. Where are the sheets, please? Um, I've distributed them around. Neil has them.
when I was first appointed, but it isn't it isn't at the door. You see, yes, you can call me anything. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Armstrong expressed the uh, desire to see a, a community in Scotland, and she expressed particular interest in the kind of work that we were doing here in Big Miller. So we've had the great pleasure this morning of showing her around the area. I think she was interested in what she saw. Uh, I think she read it out for a cup of tea. And, uh, Having had that, so I to come around and just have a chat with the people who are here and find out a little bit, a little bit more about what's going on in, in the area. Would you like to say anything? Yes, I would very much. <laughs> Rehabilitation. This 
Now, the trouble with these four openings is I found it before, and it's been repeated again this afternoon, is I'm supposed to say what a splendid place it is, and I've never seen anything looking architecturally more better, or I've seen anything except the gymnasium. <laughs> Uh, I'm told I'm going to look at the school afterwards. However, I'm going to take it on trust, and I'm going to assume that um, uh, this is, as I'm sure it is, uh, a, a very fine building and institution. The planning of major school buildings such as this involves an immense amount of one. I don't think there's anybody here who feels that uh, any government takes any delight in, uh, in shaving off even the various corner of it. And cuts, if I may say so, to you cuts to the books is an emotive word. If you said we take shaving off, I might be more inclined to accept it when you look at the total size of the educational budget and the amount of the economy that has been made. But of course, it started from a very substantially high level. There have been tremendous improvements and increases, and very properly so. Uh, in the educational budget, as indeed in many other budgets. This school, for example, I am delighted, I know it is necessary and right, but this school has a ratio of uh, pupils to teachers uh, that is uh, very good indeed, very necessary, and I hope will achieve the desired results. 80 teachers, 1,100 pupils, or so I am told. And that, of course, is on repeat throughout. In this lovely new building, you'll have the fullest advantage with your teachers to take, to take advantage of what you have here and to make the best use of it uh, for the future, for yourselves and for your country. And I wish the very best of good fortune to everyone associated, to you as the headmaster, uh, Mr. Ellis, the head teacher, all your staff and to all your pupils. I wish the very best of good fortune for the future and we shall long remember the day we came here in order to have the privilege of opening the school and to hope that you would enjoy working in it and receiving education and contributing to education in the very best of good luck. And with that, I am now going to move over there. I hope, the, uh, I hope it's all right. And, uh, I'm going to pull, pull, pull. And, uh, We'll trust something will happen. You better all watch carefully. Uh, because um, if anything goes wrong, oh, uh, let's see, let's see if it's going to work, shall we? Whoop! <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
further bits to be added to the tape? Yes. What? Well, we could have Karen stand outside the barn to one night at Hitch and all The hitching the lift bit was a, was a, a thing we were going to try. I wonder what road would be best to do it on. The road going to London. <laughs> right, yes. So, so what's the idea that, that we do? Well, we'll just grab someone. <laughs> what, someone who's hitching? No, anybody. <laughs> or just anybody, not not anyone who's hitching specifically. No, someone who we see hitching a lift. Mm -hmm. We'll ask them why they're hitching a lift. Mm -hmm. And hang around until they get a lift. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or we can hitch a lift ourselves. And when if somebody stops, mm -hmm. we can ask them why they stop. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, so if, if we wa waited for someone who was hitching, that would be like documentary, but if we did it ourselves, that would be like setting up a scene and acting it out. Yes. So if we did that, we could y have then two scenes that we'd set up and act about, the other one being the one we did before. If, the, um, if we did again the one we did before, do you think we should change it at all? We, like, remember when we stopped? We stopped at the point where... Steve was in his room, no, Davy was in his room alone. And he was fed up and he decided to leave. Do you think we should go on from there? Yes. What should he do when he leaves then? Run away. Where would he go exactly? London. <coughs> so we could maybe follow him out onto the road? Yes. And we could do it with a girl going to London. Could. And the possibilities of what are going to happen when she gets there. Yes. So we could take the person that decides to run away and follow them out onto the road and then introduce someone that stops to give that person a lift. Yeah. That would make it one complete thing. That would be quite good, I think. There's not much point if the tape's been scrubbed. Well, the tape's not been scrubbed. Uh. But no, the, the, the one we did before has been scrubbed, but we could redo it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What have you thought, Dorothy, have been the worst bits about what we've been doing? I don't know. Of you, um, I mean, I'm, I'm just assuming that you and Cam want to go on with it. Do you want to go on with it? Yes. yes. Good, that's good. Um, do you think that um, it would be easier for people if it was at a different place rather than at Theatre Workshop? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Do you think it would be easier for people if it was a different place rather than Theatre Workshop? Yeah, yeah, I think we should have it here. Here? here. Theatre yeah. Workshop. Here. Don't be silly. Don't be silly. <laughs> Theatre workshop. It's better here. You think so? Yeah. You get more peace here, don't you? Yes, yeah. you do. I think, that's, <laughs> I think that's quite an important thing. Because quite often when we're trying to do things in the Theatre workshop, there's so many people around. I know. It's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> At the beginning, the first time you came down to the Theatre workshop, what did you think? <laughs> what the place or the people or what you were doing? Everything. Everything, yes. What did you do that first time? Moan, grumble, we to go back to each other. I don't think I was there then, was I? Yes, you were. Was I? Yes. I thought you'd come down and had no. a look around one time. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What did you do that, that the first time? We just decided we didn't want to come back. Why did you come back? Well, we thought you'd like our company. <laughs> You're not being serious. Yes, we are. Yes. 